hey guys welcome back to my channel this is another pregnancy update I'm actually on my bouncing ball so if I kind of you know do a little bit of that a little bit of this you know that's why I think the last video I did I was 35 weeks or 36 weeks I can't remember exactly I think I was 35 weeks though or I don't know but I will put the link to that video so that you guys can watch that if you haven't watched that update just so you guys can get you know caught up if you're not I'm 30 seven weeks and I think 37 weeks and six days um yeah 37 weeks and six days so that means tomorrow I will be 38 weeks and y'all the struggle is real I got two weeks <laughs> until my due date so I I just feel like this pregnancy has went by so so quick and I felt when I found out that I was pregnant, I thought, oh my God, it's going to go by so slow. Everybody says it goes by so slow, you know, towards the end. And I feel like I'm like, hold on, slow down. I feel like I'm not, I mean, I've got basically everything together. Everything is ready, his room, everything is good. But I just feel like, feel like it's just going by way too fast. But that just means that he'll be here. Um, very soon so I'm excited about that but on the app that I use the what to expect app um, it says baby is as big as a winter melon I'm not exactly sure what a winter melon is but I'm guessing it's <laughs> about the size of like a little watermelon or something like that I could literally have Cameron and that's his name I don't know if I've ever <laughs> said his name or anything in the vlogs but I mean not in the vlogs in the updates but I could literally have um Cameron at any time and it's scary because oh I'm just like am I ready for this like am I am I really ready like am I really really ready <laughs> you just never know until they're actually here <laughs> so I'm excited to find out like what he looks like and how like small or how big he is or whatever so symptoms oh I, I actually I'm I'm kind of late with this uh, video I meant to actually do this video um probably like two weeks ago <laughs> because I did tell you guys that my videos would be more frequent because my appointments are more frequent now but I've had two appointments since I last made the video and I only have one more appointment left, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> so this actually could be one of the last updates. Um, I don't think it will be, though. But, you know, obviously you have to play things by ear because you don't know when baby babies are going to just come. So um, I could this could be the last one or I could have another update um, for 40 weeks, which would be a little depressing but <laughs> I'm I'm um I'm getting prepared for it just because I know that usually first time moms um usually go over their due dates so I'm already geared up for that I'm a little nervous about that because I don't want him to be huge um I know that he's not gonna be a huge baby anyways just because of you know with his growth scan and stuff like that but the longer they're in you know the bigger they get so that means I will potentially have to push out a bigger baby if I go to 40 weeks which I am hoping does not happen so anyways uh yeah symptoms who different symptoms um I've noticed that this has probably been going on for a while, but I never really, um, I guess, noticed it. But my face has gotten darker, um, you know, the pregnancy mask. <laughs> I think my neck has got, I kept saying for a while that I didn't, think, I didn't think my neck got darker, but I think it has just because when I looked at certain videos and stuff, I've seen that my neck was um, 
kind of dark. I don't know. Maybe it's just like the lighting. I don't know. But I feel like my neck and my face have gotten darker. I've been experiencing like itching on my like mostly like on my toes and yeah just mainly on my toes for some reason like it's just it's really bad and at night forget it heartburn is still there i've been having this is tmi but uh this is a pregnancy vlog I mean, update so be prepared um but tmi uh my bowel movements have been very very frequent like i'm talking for like a week straight i've been having like uh diarrhea sorry but <laughs> it's extremely tmi um but literally every like multiple times a day every day waking up in the middle of the night that type of thing like it's crazy um and I know that's not really, I mean, it's a sign of labor, that labor could be near, but you just never know. <laughs> so, um, it's like everything can be a sign that labor is on its way or whatever, and I could still be pregnant for another two weeks. So, who knows? Like, heart, the heartburn, like I mentioned, um, I actually threw up this morning. Like, it was terrible. I think it was because of the heartburn, because I literally, like, my heartburn is so bad that it, I just cough and like coughing to the point where I'm like you know gagging or whatever so that happened this morning um it was it was bad my weight <laughs> um I had like I said I had two appointments since I last made a video and I actually gained seven pounds from one appointment to the next like yeah, I don't know how that happened. But so far I've gained 38 pounds, which you can't really tell. Like, I definitely can't tell that I gained 38 pounds. I know my face is bigger, but supposedly I've gained 38 pounds. I had all these tests and stuff done. Everything came back good. Um, I'm anemic, obviously. I've, I'm always anemic. Like, even pre-pregnancy I was anemic. And, um, like doctor wanted to check my iron again and apparently um the uh prenatal pills that i'm taking are supposed to have iron in them but my iron is still low you know it went up a little bit since last time but it's like still pretty low he is running out of space i can tell because boy when he like stretches or does something it hurts like i can tell he just ha doesn't have really anywhere to go at this point he's getting big so i'm just ready for him to be here like i said um i can definitely say this pregnancy has not been as bad as i anticipated it to be camera cut off also i forgot to mention i had my baby shower um the 19th of march and it was a really really good turnout having a Braxton his kicks contraction right now so that's a little uncomfortable at this point yes yeah, so I had um, my baby shower and it was a really 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 good turnout like it was better than I expected everyone that um, I wanted to be there was there um, except for my brother and um, one of my other sisters but she lives out of state so other than that it was a really really good turnout and I'm so excited I got so much well Cameron <laughs> got so much stuff like he has so many clothes he has a lot like he has a lot <laughs> so he should be good for a while so I'm really really thankful and blessed that we have such great people around us that would actually you know care to you know buy stuff and you know that's really awesome so I'm really excited about that uh, yeah like I said this bathroom bowel movement thing is really really like who oh, Jesus says um it's a pain <laughs> like I'm really really ready for this to be over for I was like, oh, I don't know why everyone says, oh, they're so ready for their pregnancy to be over. Like, it's not even that bad. But after a while, even if you've had, like, a fairly easy pregnancy, which I feel like I've had, 
after a while it's just like okay like I need I'm tired of sharing my body like I'm tired of my body not being what it used to be like this is not you know so and I always and a lot of people always say you know yeah I want my body back it's not even the fact that I want my body back like I don't I want like you know flat stomach blah 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 I just want my body back like I'm tired of um you know sharing I mean though I love you know feeling him kick and move around and hiccups and stuff like that but I'm just ready to have my body back and he can just have his body <laughs> when he's out of my body so I have another appointment on the 18th which is like six days before my due date so yeah that's kind of um kind of a stretch but apparently they were all booked up or whatever for the next like two weeks or the next like, week or so or something like that so yeah i guess i will have another update for you guys if i make it um if i don't you guys will not see a video obviously the next video you guys will probably see if I don't have another update is a labor and delivery story because I don't think I will be filming in the hospital just because I don't know I just feel like it's a little bit too much pressure to um, film stuff and a lot of times you know when it's something as crazy and unpredictable as going into labor and delivery and all that stuff it's something that I that I think would work out or something I would want to put on the internet or like I don't think it would just be what am I trying to say I don't know what I'm trying to say I'm basically saying that um it won't be as good of a video as I would like it to be and just the whole pregnant like labor and delivery thing is just it's always so unpredictable unless of course you have a um your you have an induction or something scheduled and in that case you kind of know like how to do things you guys it's been a long journey i'm still on the journey but i'm like this close um to meeting my king so i'm excited i'm ready to just get him out y'all i'm just ready ready to get him out I'm just he needs to be on the outside now <laughs> with us. Yeah, I guess I will show you guys my belly. And that will be it. Okay. Hopefully this is showing right. But anyways, this is my stomach from the front. My shirt on. Or my dress. Or whatever you want to call it. Side. Other side. Front. The other side. And the other side. Let me get my ball. <laughs> and that is basically it. Um, I hope that you guys um, are will have enjoyed my pregnancy updates and are enjoying my pregnancy updates as you know this probably won't be the last one so yeah that is basically it um, yeah I might have another video I might not but of course I will have another video after this one either it'll be a pregnancy update or a labor delivery story so Stay tuned for that. Um, once again, subscribe, comment, uh, thumbs up this video, please. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.